hello guys and uh, welcome to this mini session so from my observation today in class i noticed that a lot of you were not able to follow exactly what happened during the reaction of benzene so i have decided to make this short video in order to give you the key points that i expect you guys to know and i will urge you guys to know these points before we meet for next class Knowing these points will better prepare you for next class. So the key points concerning the reactions of benzene. Okay. So as a general summary, if we have our benzene molecule over here, we know that benzene on the go specific type of reaction called electrophilic substitution reaction okay that's the name of the reaction that uh, benzene undergo so the first type of electrophilic reaction i expect you guys to know is halogenation where the benzene react with the halogen in the presence of a Lewis acid catalyst to produce your halogenated benzene. And in this case, your X could be chlorine or bromine. This reaction is called halogenation. The electrophile is a halogen. Okay. Second type of reaction I want you guys to remember is the nitration of benzene. And the nitration of benzene is done using nitric acid mixed with sulfuric acid. So when you do that, you form nitrobenzene. And this reaction is called nitration. And this mixture, the mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid is referred to as the nitrating mixture. The next type of reaction of benzene I expect you guys to know is the Fiedel-Craft acylation, where the benzene molecule react with an acyl chloride and that acylation is catalyzed by a Lewis acid and in this case aluminum chloride would be the best Lewis acid. You can also use iron chloride to catalyze this reaction and the product of your reaction would be as follow. Next reaction I expect you guys to know. Okay, by, before I move to the next reaction this reaction is called the Fidel Craft acylation. The next reaction I want you guys to know is the Fidel Craft alkylation, where you use an alkyl halide with aluminum chloride. And in this case, you will produce alkylated benzene. Caution with this reaction. You should be very careful when you run this reaction. Your electrophile is a carbocation, and that carbocation can rearrange. And so, whenever a rearrangement is possible, you must do the rearrangement. And so, sometimes the product is not what you expect because of that rearrangement. So, you need to be careful with that. Last but not the least of the type of reaction we went through today that I want you guys to remember and be able to do is sulfonation, where you react the benzene ring with sulfuric acid. That is your sulfonation. And usually this sulfonation reaction is reversible. That's sulfonation. So, 
These are different reactions I want you guys to remember. Halogenation, nitration, Fidelcraft acylation, Fidelcraft alkylation, and sulfonation. Knowing this reaction will help you for the rest of the chapter and you will feel more comfortable for the rest of the chapter. Now, in addition to this electrophilic substitution reaction, there are other types of reactions that benzene can undergo. So the other reactions, other reactions of benzene, the first type of reaction we'll look at will be a reduction. And in this case, a reduction is simply an addition of hydrogen atoms. That's the reduction. And in this class, we have studied two types of reduction. One, the use of hydrogen in the presence of a metal. That metal could be palladium on carbon, or it could be hydrogen in the presence of nickel. Either of them is the same. That's the first type of reduction. Second type of reduction we've learned about today in class was the wolf kishner reduction, where you have a molecule of hydrazine in the presence of a strong base. These are the two types of reduction we've learned in this class. And so, if you have an isolated benzene, for example, and that isolated benzene undergoes a reduction, Okay, which I will call R. The R there stands for reduction, and that reduction could be using condition one or condition two. So if you subject this acyl chlorine, acyl benzene to condition one or condition two, you will be able to form an alkylated benzene. Very important to take note. Okay. The other type of reaction that we did today in class was an oxidation reaction. We looked at the oxidation reaction. And in this reaction, we used one type of oxidizing agent. And that oxidizing agent was chromic acid. For example, if we have our benzene molecule with a, sub a substituted benzene, and the first carbon connected to the benzene is referred to as the benzylic carbon. So this carbon here is referred to as the benzylic carbon. If the benzylic carbon has at least one hydrogen atom, then that benzylic carbon can easily be oxidized to benzoic acid using that oxidizing agent. No matter how big the substituent is, so long as the benzylic carbon has one hydrogen connected to it, then it will be oxidized to benzoic acid. That's just it. Last but not the least of the type of reaction we've talked today in class, I'm running out of space, so I will do it here. We looked at bromination reaction, different types of bromination. If we have our substituted benzene, the substituted benzene could be brominated if we react it with bromine in the presence of light. Sorry, this is my substituted benzene here. The substituted benzene could be brominated in the presence of light to give this product. I want you guys to notice the difference between the reaction condition in this bromination and the reaction condition in this other type of bromination. Here we are using a Lewis acid, and in that case, we are substituting on the ring. And when you use a light, you instead substitute on the benzylic carbon. 
Another reagent that you can use to carry out the same rumination reaction is NBS in the presence of a peroxide. That would also lead to the same rumination reaction. So this is what I want you guys to know. If you know this before Tuesday, I am very certain that you guys will be able to follow Tuesday's class fairly easily. I have selected some problem from the textbook, which I highly recommend you guys to go through. From your textbook, I will recommend you guys to do problem number five, problem number six, number seven, number 47, number 42, oh, sorry, number 72, and number 78. Problems from chapter 18. Feel free to email me and set up an office hour. Thank you for your attention and see you time for more details.